let's make a very brief and introductory overview of key values. We're going to revisit this later on, but right now I want you to get the idea of what is a key value and why do we use it so much. So whenever we talk about volatility, we use this concept of key values. Typically when you say a key value is large, this will be a very volatile material. And when K values are low, this means that this is not that volatile. Actually, K values can be obtained experimentally with models or calculated and so on. But it's nothing more than the ratio of the composition in vapor phase and the liquid phase of species I. So whenever I say the K value of ethanol in the mixture, well, this mixture, of course, might be binary, ternary or multi-component mix. But currently, what we are analyzing is ethanol. So you will get the vapor composition, how many moles in the total mixture of the vapor are ethanol. Let's say that we have 0.3. And then we analyze the uh, vapor composition here. Let's say this is uh, water and ethanol. We know that ethanol will be in a greater extent in the vapor phase. So let's say that instead of 30%, we have 70%. And in water, we have 0.35% only. So this will be a K value of 2.0, meaning that, remember guys, if K value is large enough, that actually if K value is greater than one, you will say that this is very volatile in the mixture. Doesn't mean, remember this is relative to the species. If I use a solid or if I use something much more volatile here, you will see that K value of ethanol will change. So this is kind of relative, but it's very important, especially when you are calculating multi-component species. We're going to see later on. The main goal of this is to perform uh, thermodynamic calculations. And what you want to obtain is always this valuable ratio of the vapor composition versus the liquid composition. It will help later on in equilibrium calculations and especially in distillation. We'll be able to obtain the dew points, the bubble points, and so on. And uh, talking about K-values, let's go and check out an exercise.